invention of the SMT or surface mount technology, all components were assembled to the PCB with leads going through component holes into the board. This technology dominated the industry until the end of the 80s. Today, most components placed are SMT components. You could think that THT, or through-hole technology, is now outdated and avoided where possible, as SMT is more efficient, cost-effective and adapted to denser board designs. However, THT offers specific benefits that keep it relevant. The bonds created between THT components and the board are far stronger than SMT bonds making THT the ideal choice for components that will undergo mechanical and environmental stress or high heat. In case of prototyping, THT components are also easy to change, making them perfect for testing and hobby users. There are disadvantages too. Through hole components are much bigger and the component themselves are on one side but the solder joint is on the other side, so using space on both sides of the board. The assembly process is not automated, depends upon the skill of the operators, and is therefore less reliable and more expensive than SMT. Before placing the through-hole components, we first cut and bend the leads to the required size. Some components are not just fixed on top of the board, but are mounted on the side, these are called edge-mounted connectors. To combine the advantages of surface mount device and through-hole technology, some applications require mixed technology components. Most common are USB connectors that need to be mounted on dense boards with little free space. So these are optimal for SMT technology, but need a good mechanical stability, only possible with through-hole leads. To mount such components, we use a pin-in-paste technology. We explain this process in another episode. Oh.